Joined now by Raptors head coach Nick Nurse. Nick, it is great to see you as always. And before we get to the restart of the season, I just want to ask you about what's currently going on in the world for the past couple weeks. We've seen protests fighting against racial injustices. What are your thoughts on this incredible and hopefully world-changing movement? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think um, it, it covers the full spectrum. Heartbreaking is my first thought, right? And then, and then hopeful, like you said, oppor opportunistic. Here's an opportunity, right? I think a moment in history here where things can change. And um, it's really been all, all, time, all consuming for me um, in what I've been dealing with um, from our leadership committee to all of our head coaches in the league. Uh, to several calls with the team, to my staff, et cetera, uh, just holding open forums and conversation, and then also striking out ideas and action plans and, and, and things like that. So I think that um, as heartbreaking and as uh, unjust as it certainly is and has been for a long, long time, that let's, let's you know, hope that there's a, a great opportunity here for some lasting change. A Black Lives Matters protests have already helped spark change, but this feels like it's just the beginning. Whether it be education or reallocation of funds, what do you think some of the next steps can be to help abolish systemic racism in our society? Well, I think there's so many avenues and streams that need to be covered. Kate, I think so many. Uh, you mentioned a bunch of things that are certainly important. Uh, I can tell you that the, the one thing that... Um, uh, the 30 NBA head coaches around the league we're focusing on is is some police reform, uh, police brutality, uh, changing some some things there, and and uh, they have a program in the states called Eight Can't Wait, and there's these eight things that that they're trying to get each police department to put in place, and and the statistics show how much that reduces, um, you know, police brutality, deaths. Uh, going both ways, all that kind of stuff. And, and that's kind of like, again, there's some momentum here where, where we feel like we're swimming downstream on some of this stuff and, and each of the coaches in their cities are, are taking it upon themselves to make like that as the initial thing. And then again, uh, we move on to the next thing once we get a few small victories here. Kyle Lowry posted photos of himself at a protest in Philadelphia. Does it make you proud when you see your players on the front lines of such an important time in our world's history? Yeah, I almost, um, I, for sure. I mean, Kyle's certainly a leader. Um, and again, everybody keeps using the word platform, right? We, we have, we've been given a platform. The players have a platform. Um, you know, certainly they should use it. And, and I'm it's certainly, um, I guess, proud. I, I, it's hard using the word pride or proud these days, it seems like to me. But, but again, I, I, Certainly commend Kyle and a bunch of our other players and our staff that have that have been super involved in taking action, you know, and in letting their feelings known for one, getting out there in peaceful protest for two, and then you know literally daily calls with my staff and and members of our leadership team here with the Raptors of of trying to formulate a vision forward here with with some sincere action. Um, and, and hopefully for some lasting change. To the restart of the season now in the NBA and the players have agreed to resume on July 31st with a 22 team format beginning with eight regular season games before the playoffs. Do you like this format or was there another one that you would have preferred? Um, you know what, Kay, I think there was lots of proposals on the table. Uh, I think that um, Keeping it as close to normal as possible, I think, is is important. I, I think people are used to uh, four out of seven, one versus eight, um, east versus west. Uh, so they, they've kept most of that in there, and I think that's, that's good. Um, I like the eight regular season games. I think there's going to be some ironing out to do, some legs back under people, some rhythm, some chemistry, et cetera. And I, I like that as a, as a good solid number. They're going to be meaningful games. It's not like they're preseason games. So, it, you know, those get tough to kind of judge what's happening in sometimes anyway. So they're going to affect the standings and the seeding. So um, I think it, I think they've done a great job. Again, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm one of the people 
um, that's honored to be in this league. And I really trust the leadership of the league. I really do. I think they've come up with a great plan and, and uh, I'm ready to go. With COVID-19 still prevalent in our society, how confident are you in the NBA's return to play plan when it comes to safety? Well, I think there's some risk, right? I think that there, there's certainly some risk. I think for any time any of us go out and about and do anything, you know, uh, even, even when you go to the grocery store to get your essential items, you're, you're wondering if, you know, you put yourself in a situation where you, where you might uh, get the virus. But I think, again, I think um, they'll, they'll do as much as reasonably possible to ensure the safety of everyone there. I, I, I like what I've heard so far. I think they're, I think it's going to be difficult, right? I don't, I don't uh, be in, being kind of enclosed in the Disney set up and, and just going back and forth from your hotel to the gym and and that's about it i think for an extended period of time will will um present its challenges but i think it's the right decision if if we're going to try to keep this thing as as reasonably safe as we can and i think that's that's uh what we're aiming for and i feel okay there I'm, i'll be i'll get my mind right and have my mindset ready to get going you know we saw a photo this week on social media of Marc Gasol, and it got a lot of attention because of his slender physique. Kyle Lowry looked great in those photos from Philadelphia. Considering how long your players have been in quarantine, how do you feel about them looking so in shape at this point? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm glad. I've, I've, I've seen them a little bit. It didn't, didn't shock me as much as it may be everybody else. Um, I've seen them a little bit uh, on some Zoom calls, but... Uh, you know, those two guys are like, uh, I don't, I don't worry about those guys too much, right? They're, they're veterans that, that uh, are at the highest level of the league and in, in form of IQ and preparedness and readiness and, and knowing themselves, right? They know, know kind of where they need to be and, and where they want to go. And um, I think everything will be good. Speaking of quarantine, I have to ask about the beard. Yeah, it's, well, it's, quarantine beard it's probably two months in now I, I kind of missed an opportunity the first month and then I figured I'm gonna I'm gonna let this thing go a little bit it's gone to places it's never gone before so that's exciting um big debate on whether we're gonna take it to Orlando or not is, is uh, <laughs> keeping me up at nights right now <laughs> This Saturday, June the 13th, is the one-year anniversary of last year's championship. What do you remember the most about Game 6 in Oakland? Wow, what do I remember the most? Well, I'll say this. I think that um, I really felt that we were going to win that night, right? From kind of the moment we got on the plane, I saw the, the body language of the players and just in the locker room beforehand. And even, even at the end when... We kind of had it and we threw the ball away and everybody was panicking because whatever and i was just like it's okay we're gonna win this you know we're gonna we're gonna win we just gotta get through here another 0.9 seconds and it's gonna be <laughs> everything's gonna be okay and and um and we did it was fun man i can't i can't really put into words on all that kind of rushes through you for a year year's worth of work or a season's worth of work that comes to that pinnacle um it's special to be a part of did you ever have a moment of self-doubt throughout the run? And if so, how did you overcome it? Uh, not really. I don't think so. I think that, you know, when we lose or not play well or have a game and let it get away at the end or whatever, you just kind of, my, my thought kept that kept me in this. And, and usually about after game one of each series, I thought, geez, we're better than these guys. You know, after game one, I was like, we, we're going to, we're going to beat these guys, you know? And, and then, you know, you, you go on and you win or you lose or you fall down 2-1 or 2-0 or whatever, and you just kind of say to yourself, well, I kind of expected to, to win this, but it's going to take six or seven games to do it. That's just kind of the reality. You know, you win the game one in the finals, and then you lose game two, and everybody's like, oh, my God, Golden State stole, stole the home court advantage or whatever, and I just go back to the locker room and say, that, you know, I expected this to take six or seven, so we got a few more games to play. You know, we're going we're gonna to have to put in the work to get, get to the finish line, so that's really all – kind of the way I looked at it. When the buzzer went off, I have to ask, what was your favorite moment after the game? My favorite memory after? Well, as it was going uh, down there and it looked like we were going to win, I, I grabbed my assistant, Nate Bjorker, and we sat, I pulled him and said, let's sit down here. Let's sit down and enjoy this here. Everybody else was jumping around. There was still a 
few seconds to go and I said let's just sit down and enjoy it because we, we did the exact same thing when we won the D-League title we, I pulled him down and we sat down so we got to relive a cool moment there but you know how it is it's it's um buzzer goes off certainly want to congratulate Steve Kerr as fast as possible for an incredible series they played great and then you then you go get your family man and and share it with them Coach, appreciate your time as always. Best of luck when the season resumes. All right. Thanks for having me on.